Now we are going to talk about one very important uh, purchase order report that is based on the order value. So this is very important. Here first thing you have to do is put the USD and all those things. Now currency and put a check on 45 star that's the purchase order number and now you can execute okay so here you can see all the net values okay so here if i suppose put anything more than 100 bucks let's see if it works or not 150 uh, so if i execute so if you notice this gives me all the things so this this particular thing doesn't work with one this this particular value you see analysis for deal order value so best thing is not use this let's see there is some dynamic selections here that can be used okay so here we can see purchasing document type deletion indicator created by payment terms uh, let's see which thing that can be checked it's total value total value upon release let's see we'll see this and we'll put a value suppose uh, greater than thousand bucks thousand dollars so we have already put the currency here in the previous place and we'll just execute and we'll see what is it so see here more or less everything shows more than net value and let's see and yeah, probably something is missing current value which is document net value Ooh. is better than equal to net value oh. so it is uh, you can do some comparison here so that's interesting so let's do one thing we'll choose some comparison so we'll go here so it's like a aging report in invoice so here we'll put 100 here we put 200 here we put uh, 500 5000 5, and here we put 10000 and we'll execute and we'll see so if you see this is nice see it's between net value was I think 100, 200, so 150. So here it tells me all these things. So do we have anything big? Net value 4, uh, greater than this. We have a bunch. So if you see 20,000, 125,000. So this is a pretty useful thing. And if you think, you can see based on the material and everything. So it's very nice. And here, if let me see if I double click does it take me to the purchase order no it, yeah no it doesn't take me so you can but you can download it into an Excel and all those things so it's, it has all the features it doesn't have the hotspot piece but this is pretty useful where you can check all the analysis of the purchase order value based on different uh, values okay so it is net value one net value two net value three how many are more than that and all those things so that's that's pretty interesting and here it also shows the vendor it shows the material it shows the material group the plans purchasing group purchase organization the talk type so these are very important stuff that you can utilize and probably cut some deals with correct vendors so that you can get a discount and even the vendor can make some money by giving to the uh, regular customers so this this transaction code is very helpful important thing if you notice you have to use this uh, these fields uh, uh, in a proper way make sure you put the currency and you put this four or five star here you can put other filter fields 
So the T code for this transaction is ME81 N. So it's an enjoy transaction.